Tiffany Sherelle. I'm back today with another video. This video is titled Wash Day. Hair Wash Day. Today I'm washing my hair. I look extremely rough as you can see. I just took my braids out. I was going to actually do the video where I took my braids out too but I decided not to so the video won't be super long. So I took my braids out. My hair as you can see it looks a hot mess and now I'm about to wash my hair and all that good stuff. So, the first thing I want to say before we even get too deep into this video is please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and get to know this girl, Sherelle H. Okay, guys? So, now that we're past all that, let's get into it. So, guys, these are the products I use on my hair. I use Herbal Grow Mane and Tail Olive Oil Complex Shampoo and Conditioner. I use the whole line. It's $4.99 for all the bottles. I get it from my local hair store. Um... I think Walmart sells it too, but they don't sell this Herbal Grow Crown. They only sell like this the original main and tail. But if you want to go to your local hair store, you probably you also can buy it, I think, online on their website as well. So yes, we're really gonna go through the whole routine with me today, guys. It's gonna be crazy. You're gonna actually really see me in depth do my hair, all that good stuff. So it's gonna get a little crazy. If you hear the low, the water running in the sink, it's me washing my hair. I'm gonna go all into detail with you guys about doing this whole hair thing today. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to proceed to run some water, guys. I usually wash my hair with warm water, so it might get a little warm for you in here. So you're gonna hear like a lot of um. Well, this is actually cold water. So I'm trying to talk as loud as I can because I want to make sure you guys can hear me. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm not talking loud enough. So, because I feel like lately, whenever I go to do a video, uh, I can't never hear myself. This is crazy, guys, but I literally can't hear myself. Like, I have to put headphones in to edit my videos because I'm like, why can't I hear? How my volume turns up? I don't know. But now the water's warm, and I'm about to wet my hair, guys. Also, I have my towel ready, and I'm about to go under, so you won't see me for a few minutes or so. So, here it goes. Now you see me kind of, my hair is wet. I just went under the sink and you can kind of see me and my towel just dropped. Got the towel and you can kind of see my hair and there's water in my eyes so I gotta wipe that. So here's all that good stuff. My hair is wet. Now I'm gonna take my Herbal Grow Shampoo and put it all in my hair guys. Like this is really in depth with me. I probably wanted to do this video a while ago but I was kind of like I don't know if I want to do all this. Because I'm really letting you in. I look rough and all that good stuff. So I'm going to run my shampoo all through my hair. Now, I used to be natural, but my hair was really breaking off and it got damaged. So I cut it all off. That's why it's so short now. Um, it was just, uh, it was kind of too much of a hassle. That's what I want to say. So I cut it off and I went back to being relaxed again or permed again or whatever you want to call it. Um, I do intend once my hair gets to like the length it used to be, and maybe I'll show a picture. I'll post the picture along with this video so you guys can see. I intend to like, you know, go back to it. You know, go back to being natural again. Because I have so many natural hair care products in my house, it's not funny. And now I use them on my daughter's hair because, of course, I'm never going to put a perm on her hair. I'm just not going to do it. But, yes, guys, this is me. All right, so, so I'm scratching up my hair. Ignore my fat arms. I don't know what it is. Like, I can lose a whole bunch of weight, guys, but my fat arms will not go away. 
That's why I hate wearing shirts like these, cut out like that, because my arms are so fat. I'm like, why are my arms so fat? Like, I can go to the gym, work out, eat clean, and still have fat arms. Like, I don't get it. It's just gross to me. I don't like my arms. Then they jiggle. It's just nasty. Maybe I need to start lifting weights. I'm not a weightlifter, though. But yes, guys, I scratch my hair up because, you know, sometimes your hair, I'm going to say, you get dandruff or your hair just gets be really dirty. And I've had my braids in for like a little over a month or two, so that's usually the longest I'll leave them in. So now, guys, I'm about to go back under the water again, and I'm going to wash my hair out. So here goes nothing. Sorry about the water noise, you guys. This water is hot. Funny guys, I know I'm all the way down here and you're like, she's talking to us and she's down there by the sink. But I remember when I was like, you can't see me, but I was pregnant with my daughter and like, I would try to wash my hair and it used to be the worst painful thing. Cause you know, when you have like a, a belly, you're trying to, it's pushing against the sink and it's just, it was hurting so bad. So again, guys, once I wash my shampoo out the first time, I redo it again for a second time. So. I'm going to do my shampoo again for the second time. Again, again, again. For the second time. So, you can get a little crazy. I always feel like my hair lathers better the second time. I don't know what it is. It just lathers better the second time. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to scratch my hair up again. Because you want to clean your hair. You don't want to wash your hair and then your hair is not clean. So. so, my hairdresser probably does a better job than me, of course, but I haven't been to her in like months. So, I'm, not, I'm probably weird, but I'm the only person. I don't really like hairdressers. I prefer to do my own hair. I'll go to them if I like absolutely have to. If I don't absolutely have to, then I don't even want to go to a hairdresser. Like, I'll get a hairdresser and I'll start going to it for like a few weeks or a couple months and I'm just like, I'm not going back anymore. I don't know. Like, I had a recent hairdresser. I was going to her like really heavy and then I just was like, I don't want to do this anymore. So I stopped going to her. I don't know. It's something about, ever since that, I had a lady, this is a story time. She actually worked at JCPenney, did my hair, put color in my hair. And as she's washing the color out, she did something wrong. My hair started falling out in the sink. She didn't want to tell me. So she takes off running to the back of the, you know, back of the salon panicking or whatever she comes back over and starts putting some crap in my hair and then she puts it in the dryer and then she just did the color all wrong my aunt is a hairstylist and i was telling the store and she's like you know what she didn't do your color right at all she didn't know what she was doing she did everything wrong and my hair just broke off so bad from that and it came out so bad I had to cut it off and ever since then i've never done color i just stick with black hair because i'm like who i'm not doing that no more no okay guys ouch i just hit my hand <laughs> but what i'm going to do right now guys i'm going to wash this out and then I'll probably do my conditioner. And once my conditioner starts to sit, I'll come back. And we'll keep going, okay? So I'm going to go down here again. You're going to hear some water, guys. Again, I apologize. And here we go.
Okay, guys, so I'm back again. I've washed the shampoo out for the second time in the waters of my eye. So now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to put my conditioner on, my lovely conditioner. And, of course, you know, this is the conditioner, Herbal Go Conditioner. Again, this is $4.99 at the store, so I'm going to put it all through my hair. So it smells pretty good, but I like this whole product line, you know. I just like the products. I figure if I have to go back to my perm, which I didn't want to, I really might as well just use their products in my hair. So that's what I'm doing. It's always important to like wash your hair and just moisturize it and all that good stuff. I guess I just kind of got tired of the braids in my hair. You know, you just get tired. I'm tired of the braids in my hair. And yes, it's natural if your hair comes out, guys, when you wash it. It's actually pretty normal. As long as it's not coming out in no big clumps or anything, then be scared. Very scared. So this is my Tangle Brush. It's purple. It's my mom's favorite color, not mine. <laughs> Just putting that out there. So I usually comb this through my hair once I put the once I put the conditioner on just to get all the little tangles out. It's funny because before I used to just leave the conditioner on my head and I didn't do anything uh, with it. I didn't comb through it. I just let it sit. And then my aunt, she was telling me one day, she's like, you know my hairdresser, when she does my hair and she puts the conditioner on it, she was like, she actually, um, she was like, when she does the conditioner, excuse me, God, sorry. She told me like, when her hairdresser does the conditioner, she takes a comb and combs it through her hair. I'm like, well, wow, you taught me something. So, I know, I'm, I'm a blonde, having the blonde moment, but yeah, so, okay guys, the conditioner is now sitting in my hair, um, boy, alright, so the conditioner is in my, in my hair now guys, and I'm gonna let it sit back guys, I did the back of my hair, and this is how it came out, I think my hair might be growing on the series, no, just from wearing those braids for the time that I did, so, now I am going to work on the front of my head. Okay, so now I'm doing the front. So I'm going to take a little bit of my growth cream or whatever you want to call it and I just burnt the heck out of my head just now. What I love about this flat iron though is it bends. So if you want to get your your ends of your hair to bend, it will bend them very nicely for you. So, uh, plus, and I don't know where the heck. Oh my comb! Wow, I'm having a moment, people. I'm having a moment. I was like, where's my comb? And my comb is right next to me. Something 
cute. Like, what are you wearing? And she's all like, this is cute. What you talking about? I look cute, girl. And you're like, oh, Lord, we got to go up in the, in the club or wherever we going with her. And look how she look. Look how she got her hair today. You be wanting to be like, oh, I don't even want to go in there with her. She got to be nice. I feel so bad saying that. Please don't get offended to anybody that's really like that. But you be like, oh, Lord, you got to pick her up. She ain't gonna be dressed cute with nothing today. And then, yeah, I think we all got that from She's like, but I look good. And you're like, no, you don't, girl. No, you don't. But you don't wanna be harsh and too harsh and too mean. Especially if you're the friend that don't drive or something. And then you're like, I gotta be nice to her tonight. Cause she, oh, she just burnt my head. You see, that's God right there. He don't like ugly. I'm being mean. He's like, I'm gonna teach you something today. But no, I'm serious. No, I think we all have that one friend. It's just like, oh, a mess. Yeah, a mess. I guess that's okay. And then you have to ask yourself, am I that friend? Because if you're his friend, that's not good either, right?
That's why I have been wearing my real hair, and I don't know why. But they say when you don't touch your hair, you don't mess with it. It's ugly to grow. So I think there's some truth to that, guys. So I have to go over these pieces. I'm like OCD when it comes to my hair sometimes. Like, gotta make sure it looks decent. You don't know, like go out in public and your hair looks a mess. You can see, like, is that her over there, girl? She looks a hot mess.